So it's today. We were playing the Rip class, and we may have got something crazy. The Rainbow Badge. And it kinda led to something like this. With 1000 max HP, it's still going. This is crazy, we were both scaled max HP, both had over 1000 HP. But yeah, this build is kinda cheesy. But hey, check it out, let me know what you think of it. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and jump into some rank games with the Rip class and seeing what we can do here. Absolutely insane, actually. We've got a Rainbow Badge here. We can access all class items. After 5 seconds, gain one of every, one of every type of buff. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and take it this coal and this wooden sword for a torch here. And I will reroll once to see what we can get here. Do we want a short bow from the ranger class here? I'm not entirely interested in it. We could actually get the poison bow here and try to be stacking up poison, but honestly, not entirely interested in it here. I'm actually going to sell the wooden sword here for a frying pan. And I'm going to keep this going like this for now. And I want this banana. Let's go ahead and buy the stone as well. Since it's on sale for, or since it only costs one, we can buy it and sell it for the next round for one as well. So might as well have it in for this round and see what we can do. Gain one buff every five seconds. Sounds amazing here. We're actually going to lose here though. Actually, we actually survived here. Thanks to the buffs. By the looks of it. Just pausing the video here very quickly just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks. Now let's get back to the video. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this banana. Pause the video here very quickly just to ask you to subscribe. Help potion it really could helps actually be out. nice. Thanks. Now let's get back to the video. It keeps alive, so we'll be taking it. Let's reroll to a forging hammer. We could actually go and get crafted items. However, we don't actually have battle range, so not too interested in actually seeing this here. Another lump of coal here. Not gonna take. I will actually reserve this letter bag for now. And yeah. Gonna be moving on. We're gonna begin a pyromancer. With a decent bit of damage with their wooden sword here, but not as much damage as we have with our frying pan. They do have a lot more max life. However, we have all these buffs. And yeah. Actually just smashing here. Let's go and take our letter bag. We could actually go for a shovel. But honestly. Kind of leaning towards the Excalibur here. I'm trying to find the food items from each class here. We're going to be switching this around so we actually get that burning coal here. So that's going to be some way to actually generate up some heat if it needs be. We could actually take another burning coal, but I'm not too interested in. We're going to move on. Actually, before we move on, I want this letter bag. And yeah, let's continue on. Right now I want to craft up the Excalibur, which means I want to find cheese and chilies and fly Garrix. I'm stacking up that HP and that poison. The health potion here keeping us alive. It's been super awesome. It means we get our buffs online. And yeah, it means we stack up that poison too. And yeah, it's actually going pretty decently for us here. We've got a burning coal. We could actually take an axe here for extra damage if we want it. Our stamina usage is actually 0.9. Yeah, it might be a tad bit. Too much here. We'll be taking a flight Garrick though. There's gonna be some more damage for our frame pan, and let's roll here. Stop the sack. Get another banana. Not gonna take it here either. Piggy bank on sale. We're gonna be taking this and then we're gonna be moving. Like so. So far, we actually haven't we really have any other class items. We still have the burning coal with the flame here, which is super easy to get for the pyramids early on, but still you can get them in the other classes too. However, this is looking quite scary. We've used up our potion already. However, actually, insane. We're doing, we're getting by here very, very nicely here. I do want these penny back and I do want these blueberries. I don't want a mana potion. We've got to take that lucky clover, but not too interested in it. We could go for a goobert, a gloves of haste. Not gonna take either. And actually, the first food item, I would really, really awesomely like here. I shut up. If we switch this around, yeah, we can fit this in like so. We'll move this in here, and then we can have our blueberries here. Actually, we switch this around. That's going to be much, much better. However, we don't actually get access to a rainbow badge actually triggering in our storage coffin as of right now. We might actually want this over here. Or switch this around. I think we're going to leave it like this for now. As for gold, here we are going to be taking this fanny pack for now. We'll put it over here with our banana, like so. And yeah, we're just going to move on. 
We'll see how we do. We're going to begin an opponent here, Ranger with the Gingerbread Jerry, which could actually be quite scary since it's another unique item. They could go crazy on it. They do have a lot of DPS with their Hero Sword and their Wooden Sword. It's actually looking quite scary. However, we stacked up so much poison here. We just fight with 8 HP. And actually, the Forging Hammer showed up again. Not a big fan of the Forging Hammer showing up here as often as it is showing up. Could go for a Pandemonium here for Poison stacking. However, I'd rather get the Excalibur here. So I'm not going to take it here, actually. I actually want to have a quick look. I'm forgetting the rarity of... The rarity of an Excalibur here. So we need a Legendary Potion. Which only have a 10% chance. So should we actually take a Customer Card here? Are we going to risk losing a life here? To take the Customer Card here to actually find... Have a better chance of trying to find... Yeah, let's do it. That's crazy as that sounds. Found a fancy, fancy rape here. I'm gonna actually going to reroll again. And we actually found some cheese. This paid off. We also have a dead site here. But I'm not going to take it here either. As for our food item here, triggering. If we actually remove the banana. Actually have this over here. Then we could have this like so. And that is as much DPS as we can get on our frying pan for now. And also making our chili here trigger that much faster here too. Scaling up heat is going to be quite nice for us. Our opponent here has thrown a bunch of rocks at us. Especially with the hero sword, it is a lot of burst damage early on. However, it's not going to be able to keep us down here. This health potion has been doing so much work for us actually. It's been keeping us in it so much here. We have one more round before we actually get our subclass here as well. I'm going to continue to reroll here. Do we want a ruby egg here for a ruby chunk? Or even potentially an obsidian dragon. Also, we could have had a burning blade here. To stack up that heat as well, which would be pretty decent here as well. You won't be able to afford the ruby egg right now. I'm not going to take it then. I get another potion on sale for two. Sounds awesome too. But we'll be taking it. We'll add it in this side for now. We'll actually switch this around so we're getting even more value. We don't need this banana in for now, since we have the cheese. The cheese is going to go crazy first. We'll switch this around so it actually triggers faster than they have down here. It's in 220 bucks. It's going to give us a lot of max HP. We should gain at least 40 max HP in the middle of this fight. Depending on how long it goes here. We'll just see. We're actually getting 20 max HP. Which in turn increases our um, health potions here. Yeah, 40 HP. And it's still going. Our damage output is after dropping significantly since we have a frying pan, but our opponent has a frying pan. But they have a lot of heat. We also have a lot of heat. And we have a lot of poison stacking. And yeah. The cheese actually kept us alive here. Because it actually gave us 80 max HP. Right now we have a choice to make. We could go for the Hexblade. Not too interested in Hexblade. Venomancer because we last for so much longer here. We could just be inflicting poison non-stop. Mr. Struggles here, which I'm leaning most heavily towards. We want to be activating that cheese like crazy, stacking up max life. As well as the chili pepper here too. Nocturnal luck lifter for that lifesteal. Or even the cauldron here. Giving us healing. Mana or heat here. Which actually could be awesome for the Excalibur here. But come on, you have to take Mr. Struggle here. That is another pandemonium. Not going to be taken here. I'm going to be rerolling. rolling Stamina sack. Actually, we could be scaling up in power as well. So we might actually take that. But for right now, we are going to be taking the stamina sack. And we do want our Mr. Struggles in this position. Although we'd rather have cheese here. Like so for now. As for power, I'm actually going to be taking it here. We just really, really, really need that Excalibur here. I don't even think we want a crit chance here. However, it does remove spikes. Spikes is going to be a bit of a problem. Because our damage is so low, if they stack up spikes... They could do a lot of damage to us. However, I don't think I'm still not going to take here. Come on, man. Stop showing up. This is crazy. We'll be selling our piggy bank for some more blueberries. And yeah, we have one more goal. So I'm going to reroll here. Acorn collar for the crit chance. Which I'm not too interested in taking here either. We could alternatively go for a Wolperting here because we gained so much stats. That this could actually scale super heavily with the rainbow badge here. However, actually having this in as well, actually dilutes the pool so much here. 
So we are trying to find a specific item. It's actually lowering our chances here quite a bit. Might as well add in our blueberries. Our banana. I'm actually not going to take the world finger or any of these items, so I'm just going to continue on. Even though that is a vampiric gloves right there. Which actually could have been pretty good for a cheese. But it should be okay for now. This ranger class here is going to have a lot of damage. Can our potions keep us alive? Can we scale up our max HP enough? Can we go crazy with our buff generation from Realm of Badge? Can we scale up that heat? It's looking like so, actually. It's coming together quite nicely here, and we've only two more rounds to go. Who's five here? Let's go ahead and buy this fanny pack. Move our inventory around a little bit, add this in, so at least we're getting that scaling heat generation of our chili pepper here. Gonna reroll here. I would definitely, definitely check another chili pepper here. Let's continue to reroll. Another cheese. Yeah, 100% more cheese. And another flag garg. Let's go ahead and actually move this into our potion bolt now. And add in a, another banana for now. That's going to be in a better position. It's going to make our chili go off more often, actually. Talk about better position. That is just a way better position. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We just need that Excalibur here. Excalibur here, we're going to be scaling up max HP. And heat. It's going to be insane. We just need mana generation then. So we need to keep an eye out. For mana orbs, this berserker here is looking quite scary. However... We've used up bought our health potions. We're in fatigue right now. Mr. Struggles kicks in. And we still lose. <laughs> Unfortunately, we lost here. Losing our perfect game at this point. It is what it is. Just happy to get some cheese. Hey, another stamina sack. Also, a hard container here for scaling up regeneration. Could actually be quite nice here. I'm gonna move this banana and have it in here so our cheese is actually scaling up. Much, much faster here. As for Flag Garrick, do we actually want to get rid of the card for the Flag Garrick? For the poison? I don't think so. We're going to move on. Can we find the Excalibur here? This one here, exactly. Before we actually get to Shrive Mode here. This one here is absolutely shredness. Our damage has dropped off significantly here. However, with this extra cheese, can we scale up twice as much life? Twice as fast. Scale up that poison. From our food items triggered in the storage coffin here. And yeah, it's actually coming together quite nicely. Also, our buffs are going crazy here. That is a third pandemonium. I'm still not going to be taking it. Blueberries, we're going to have to take. I'm actually not going to craft those up. I'm going to reroll here. We could actually take a misfortune here if we want. Yeah, actually, we're going to be taking it. I think it's going to be too awesome to pass up. We also want this mana orb. So we're going to go in another round right now. I'm actually going to remove this flag Garrick and leave it in for now. We got some blueberries. Three to be exact. We should be able to scale up that mana pretty quickly. I mean, we should be able to actually start getting that look. So then Miss Fortune here can actually start generating up buffs for us. Like crazy. This berserker here. Could be quite scary in Battle Rage. They're going to be dealing a lot of damage and healing back up. And yeah, they're actually opacing us here altogether. Unfortunate here, we're down another life. Can we actually? That's a spike color. This is normally must item, but now it's a must not. Mr. Struggles here to remove one buff. Beach type from your opponent. Actually, might be decent here. Especially on sale for four. So we'll be taking it. We'll be taking all this. Let's reroll here. We're kind of garb another pandemonium. Come on, man. What's my luck? What's my look? Just give me the Excalibur here and you stop showing up. I don't want you. Pineapple for some spike generation. We should have probably took. And actually finally found it. We could sell some things here to get it. And I'm genuinely thinking about doing it. As for what we can sell here. Do we even want the carrots? We sell Mr. Struggles, so we can get it straight away. Alternatively, we can sell our potions. As crazy as that sounds, I will actually be doing that. I really want it so desperately badly that I'm going to be doing that. Then we're going to have our Mr. Struggles in, and we're going to add in our little extra storage with a flame here. I want to craft this as soon as possible. 
because it's going to be super, super awesome once we get out on the line. And our opponent here is shredding us. Those potions here would have been pretty handy. Keeping us alive. However, we are starting to... Then like, actually, no. Definitely, definitely not. It started looking like that we were about to survive, but obviously, towards the end, not so much. We'll have to fit this in, but... Come on, man. Really? I'm still going to say no. It's by color, regeneration. We're going to be taking a hard container here, especially it's on sale for six. Let's reroll here. And finally, it showed up again. But at this point, I don't want it. We're going to need the storage. Let's reroll. Spike generation. I just want some more cheese. We'll fit this in for now. We'll have it like so. We'll move you up. That's going to be perfect. Mana orb generation. Going to be pretty awesome here too. We just want our cheese and our chilies. Triggering off it as well as possibly the fly garrics here. We also want blueberries here are going crazy too. We'll move you out. We'll add in some blueberries. Add in a fly garrick. Possibly a carrot as well. To cleanse those random debuffs. We'll add in our hard container here. Bananas. We'll move you. Add in a banana here so our cheese triggers that much often. As for our mana orb. That could be the issue though. Alternatively, we could have it here. Lose out one trigger on our accelerator here, but we're going to need those four triggers, so we might actually have to leave it in like so. Add in our burning coal, and we actually can fit in in this banana for now. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what this is like. Two cheese, an Excalibur, two chilies, and a lot of buff generation. Can we make it work here? The DPS on Excalibur is 11.1 .1 per DPS. Our opponent here is stacking up that poison here, which is going to be a natural counter. Two stacking up life here. We're actually not going crazy in saving our life. Our heat is coming down to the wire. But yeah, we still managed to outscale our opponent here. And we survived with two lives left. If you got the Excalibur here earlier, we actually probably could have survived with more lives. But let's continue on. See, can we do it? More cheese. That's all I want to see here. Let's go ahead and take extra storage. And add you in for now. Let's reroll that as a flight Garrick. Misfortune here, I don't actually want. We don't have an extreme way to actually generate up. Look, I'm going to sell a banana here. Really? Let's reroll again. Mr. Struggles. Spike color. Let's reroll once more. Another card. Not too interested in all the same. We'll move you in. I'd rather have the cheese triggering here as often as possible. And yeah, let's continue on. Actually, do we want the storage? Another stamina sack. Yeah, let's take it. We're going to move. We're going to begin a Pyromancer with the Dark Lantern here. They do have one Dark item. Which could be bad for us. They're going to do a lot of damage once they reincarnate. Also, they're using up the heat super fast. They don't generate up heat too much here. So we could actually be in a decent spot here. It's looking pretty good for us. We're scaling up max HP. And yeah. Actually, winning out here. Let's go ahead and take the stamina sack. We could actually take a, another hard container here. And I'm thinking we might actually. With four more rounds, I'm actually not going to spend our 10 gold here. Going to risk a loss. I want to buy this hard container and not reroll here. We're going to begin a cheese, chili, dark lantern, pyro here. They also have the rainbow badge. Are they going to be able to scale up more max HP than us? They have a lot more heat. It's going to be a battle of endurance. They're scaling up so much armor from the vampiric we'll see how we do here mr struggles here could also be inflicting that fatigue damage like crazy which could actually win us the fight here and yeah we're actually about to outscale him on heat and regeneration and poison everything with 1000 max hp it's still going this crazy we were both scaling max hp both had over 1000 hp but yeah our build just kind of wins out here we're going to take in another Mrs. Struggles. Mrs. Struggles is actually going to be pretty good for us. We'll add it in over here. We'll actually move this down a little bit. That's going to be the best position we can have for it. And yeah, I do want another regeneration, so I'll add this in. Let's reroll here. More crit chance if we like it. I still don't think so. 
more hard container here. Means more life. I'd rather just go and find cheese at this point. And I actually found it. Another Mr. Struggles here. Would actually be insane here. But I still don't think we take it. I think we just continue on like this for now. Let's we'll see how we do. We need to stack up the mana. Are we able to stack up 11 mana pretty quickly? We'll see here though. This Berserker class is doing tremendous damage with the magic. This is not looking good for us. This is definitely, definitely going to be lost on this. We can bring it back. No. Unfortunately. No, they just smashed us down. Their DPS was pretty high here. Let's get our cheese. Let's reroll once. Potion bolts. Let's take. Let's reroll. Another carrot. Some pineapple here for some pies in a second. How many Mr. Struggles are we getting on sale? We're definitely going to be taking here. As for cheese, we do want to be stacking up that heat. I think we actually remove one of these fly garricks for pies in a second. And just go crazy with max HP with four cheeses. And yeah, do we want a another carrot? Actually move this over. That's going to be a little bit better for us. Is it though? We'd rather have the extra charge on our mana orb. We need that super badly here. Maybe it might be actually more beneficial to actually try and find another mana orb. We'll move you over. That's going to be a little bit better, actually. That's going to be a lot better here. But yeah, we're going to move on and like this for now. We'll see how this does. Four cheese, two chilies. I wish we found more chilies. But it is what it is. If we get that regeneration up. We got a max HP. Our opponent here is doing also a serious amount of damage. However, we're scaling up that max HP like crazy. Ramsat 1000 max HP. We so much vampirism, we so much buffs. Over 1000 max HP. And yeah, it's not even comparable here. We're going to take Mr. Struggles here. We're going to have a third one in. And I do want this pineapple, so we'll take it for now. Tiny storage. Let's nice reroll. Jeez. One more round. Can we make it happen? We sell a Mr. Struggles and a pineapple. Or do we sell the tiny storage? Goodbye, tiny storage. More cheese. Do we give up on the poison stacking or do we give up on the blueberries here? Or do we move our mana arb out? I feel like the mana arb isn't necessarily where it needs to be. So maybe we have the cheese in here. Just like this for now. But that's a lot of cheese. Alternatively, we just remove the carrot and add the cheese in. Yeah, that's going to be much, much better. And then we can have our Mr. Struggles in and we don't exactly need the cheese. Or, not the cheese, the carrot here. But yeah, this is a super awesome build. It has been super fun. We have Excalibur here. We've one more round to survive. We have two lives left. So we're going to survive it no matter what. However, if we win, we get more rank points. But yeah, it's all thanks to Rainbow Badge here. The Rainbow Badge is... Unbelievably fun here. And I believe we drafted up something quite fun here. We have Mrs. Struggles in here with our Misfortune here giving us buffs and also removing buffs from our pawns here. Which kind of works nicely with the Rainbow Badge here because it gives us buffs too. If you had a Wolf Protector here, we'd be scaling up even more buffs. However, we do have one, two, three, four, five cheese in a round Excalibur here with one Mana Orb and two Blueberries here to try and stack up that mana to actually go. Omega levels of health. Sure, we've had over a thousand HP so far anyway. We had Mr. Struggles in here to actually be inflicting that fatigue damage as well as actually increasing the trigger items speed on our cheese and our chili here. So yeah, give us heat, give us max HP. However, we could alternatively use it on our Excalibur like so, but I'd rather have it on our cheese and our chili for now. This is pretty much our setup for right now. We have our Excalibur, Blueberry, like Garrick, Cheese, and Rainbow Badge in our storage coffin here. We also have our hard containers here to actually give us more max HP. And yeah, let's sell this carrot. Let's reroll once. Let her bag on sale. Let's roll again. More cheese. No. There's a whoop thing. But yeah, it's been super awesome. Let's go ahead and see can we survive our next fight again. A Poison stacking Reaper class with a lot of armor. They use up their vulnerability straight away. It's going to be pretty bad. That poison stacking is going to be a natural counter to us. That is the one downside to stacking. Up life. Can we stack more life than they 
can actually stack up poison. It's not looking great. However, actually, what's crazy here? Let's go ahead and have a look at the DPS here at the very end. DPS wise, Excalibur, 80 DPS, Poison doing 14, Fatigue doing 5.7, and Spice doing 2.5. But look at their DPS. 30 DPS with their Poison. Their DPS was pretty good. And their stats towards the end, they had 117 Poison, we still had 61 Poison. We had 41 Heat, 18 Regeneration, and we had 17 in power here, actually. Increasing the damage of our Excalibur here, it actually says 39.2 DPS. But yeah, we actually made a pretty fun build here. We had 1,200 max HP. Literally four times the HP of our opponent here. And we started off with 350. Which is madness. Let's go ahead and see how much rank points we got. We survived with two lives left. Giving us 15 rank points. That's awesome. But yeah, this build was super awesome, super fun. I love the addition of these badges. As they open up a lot of possibilities for brand new builds. As well as making some runs feel super unique. But hey, I think... The rainbow badge is going to be super awesome for that cheese max life stacking build on every build to be honest. The cheese stacking max life has been around for a while now and it is still very, very awesome. But hey, I'm going to leave it here for now. I just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment or subscribe. And I hope you keep a lookout for the next one. See you next time.